here comes Mike awesome. Who's no longer with us. Um, he died of a suicide, which is unfortunate. Um, but if he was still alive, we would be making fun of the fact that he has a mullet, but no sideburns. Yeah. That's one thing that, uh, WCW fans made, uh, fun of mullet mullet head mullet head was a chant with him. I really do feel like right here based on this look, we see his options were either to be a professional wrestler yeah, or to be the world's biggest Billy Ray Cyrus impersonator. <laughs> uh, he's going to need a denim jacket and yeah. an American flag shirt tucked into some jeans with a big belt buckle and some shit kickers and talk about line dancing, or he's going to need to power bomb Japanese dudes. And he went with the second one. What do you do for a living son? I power bomb Japanese dudes. That's serious okay, business. What he does. Yeah, absolutely. It is. By the way, those, uh, ECW entrance letters right there above the, on the entrance set. Do you see them? Yeah. yeah. Those will be a star cast. All right. And this is, uh, Masato, Masato, Tanaka. Masato Tanaka. That's right. You got it. Okay. So let me ask you. Has every third wrestler coming out of Japan been named Tanaka? No. Is this it, it, this uh, is he any relation to Professor Toro Tanaka? Are are all Jones related? No. But not all Jones. I mean, not all Jones wrestled. You know, you think that there are more Tanakas that don't wrestle than do. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a bunch of Thompsons who wrestle somewhere in the independent circuit. Are they related to you? They could be. I fucking hope not. <laughs> so by the way, uh, both of these guys had first gotten their sort of name and reputation in FMW. Do you remember watching any FMW? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. It was a promotion in Japan called fuck me wrestling. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's just cut this fucking thing off. We're done. Like, we can't beat that. Okay. No, it was like front, oh. frontier martial arts wrestling or something. Oh, like okay. That. All right. And, yeah. um, they were, they had a, a series of matches over there that just caught everyone's attention, especially in the tape traders, because around this time, everybody was doing a lot of tape trading and it was probably the height of tape trading. And RF video was, uh, had a close affiliation with Paul Heyman and ECW, and they were doing a lot of the production for them and would sell their TV subscriptions and pay-per-view home video releases and blah, 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 blah. Well, the FMW tape started to do really well. Paul Heyman took note and ta-da, here we are. And these guys are both going to be really, really big deals for ECW, but this is one of the first times we get to see them. They had a match at the, uh, what they call the Madhouse of extreme in Queens that had everybody talking. So they do a rematch here on pay-per-view and Meltzer would say this one was even better. The first two matches tonight got three and a quarter stars. Both of them. This one is going to get four stars. Well, you know what? It, 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 it gets down to athletic ability. Look at, look at what God, look at what awesome can do for a guy, his size, six, six, I, and just yeah. flying all over the place at roughly 300 pounds. Yes. And you know, and he doesn't look like uh, he doesn't, you would think a guy that's six, six and would try to do that shit would look stiff and he doesn't look stiff. He just absolutely looks like he is in his fucking element, man. He was my absolute favorite in this yeah. era. My two favorites, or I guess my three in ECW were Mike awesome, Rob Van Dam. Here we go. Top, Yo! top, top suicide dive, man. I didn't mean to call it that. No, right, we'll we'll but, go, we'll go tope, I guess, or Pascal, okay. I don't know what it's called. He did a dive folks over the top yeah. rope. Yeah. That's what it was called. A suicide dive. I get it, but he came so close to hitting his head on the safety rail too. And, and, and that's just, uh, God, as, as a wrestling fan, you look at that, you go crazy. I know they're probably chanting ECW, ECW, but it's just, uh, it's just crazy shit that what they tried. I'm really am. I'm really am saddened that Mike awesome was. As left us. That's, that's, that's terrible. God, a mighty. He's doing clothes. everything. I mean, this is such a big motherfucker for doing this type of stuff. I know. I can see why he was such uh, I can see why you liked him, buddy. Well, I liked him too. When he worked with us, I really did. And you know what? We didn't, we didn't take advantage of what he could do. Probably. If I go back and I, I can't remember Mike awesome doing all this stuff. And of course you got to have a good German release fucking suplex almost threw him out of the ring. Mm. 
So, whoa. So these these two guys were probably sensations in fuck me wrestling. And now is Tanaka still working? Is he still with us? He yeah, just he's never still, know. He's still wrestling. Yeah. Here we go, man. Bring in a chair. Let's go. Uh-oh. How about that sign? Got porn. <laughs> oh, there's a stud stable. Where in the fuck is he going? Holy shit. Yow. He's dead. Pin him. Pin him now. Not dead. Not dead. You're going to make sure he's dead, buddy. Good God. Tanaka a little concerned about his belly. Keeps pulling up his drawers. Missile drop kick from the top. Cover the man. After the chair shot, one, two. And he kicks out. Still not wow. done. How long are these two guys going to go? I mean, how, how much, you know, with these. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God he hit the apron. Now, the table is set up there. At, I, I'm sure that table has got to come into use here. Of course. Right. Of course. Jesus. Jesus. So he grabs another chair. Now, the fans are going crazy here now. And now dueling chairs here. <laughs> you know, that's day you can get to yourself uh, just a little bit too close to the fans for that, man. Uh, some of these fans would have taken the chairs and hit oh, themselves they would, in the yeah, head they, with them. They didn't care. They would have loved it. Out into the crowd. Oh, oh. Back body drop, and the, the fans are going nuts now, at least the ones that where Tanaka has ended up in their lap. Awesome getting back into the ring, seemingly to uh -huh. break the count, which you don't you go. really have in ECW. But no, <laughs> instead, he pulls the uh, guardrail back a little closer, and you have an oh. idea what's coming. Yeah, I do. He's, he's, he pulled it back. Oh my God. To the top Holy rope, shit. Out oh! <laughs> oh, the spot of the day. Oh, the absolute high spot of the day. A six Did foot she? six dude. Yeah. Jump from the ring to the top rope and standing on the top rope, not the turnbuckle, the rope. Right. And just dives out into the crowd onto Masato Tanaka. And, and you can see where it was almost kind of, uh, it kind of was like the forerunner to a lot of shit we're seeing today, man. I mean, how many times have I seen in MLW when we do infusion on being sports, uh, have I seen guys go into the chairs like that? And here is now 20 years earlier, they were doing it and it kind of set the standard. I've seen plenty of sit out power bombs here. There's a two count. Oh, by the way, I want to let everybody know that, uh, uh, you can uh, tune in if you miss uh, Fusion. Uh, it is it did download Saturdays at six oh five. How about that on YouTube? How about that for a time for downloading? I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it either. God, he 